and being opinionated. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, I think uh, you know Virginia has an issue of of individualism. Like, like you can be that guy, I can be this guy. We can coexist. I ain't gotta like you. You ain't gotta like me. But you do what I do. I ain't finna throw salt or shade. You know, it's like they gotta throw salt. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, so, but it ain't just VA though, bro. It ain't just VA. That's everywhere. Right. So, so, what would it take for rappers to coexist in Virginia, man? Man, for real, for real, bro. I done seen a lot of rappers coexist in Virginia, but I ain't seen a lot of rappers coexist in Virginia in the same city. I done seen Richmond niggas do shit with birds, niggas, birds, shit, be seven, five niggas. Oh, uh, Northern Virginia nigga, I don't see niggas do shit with Virginia niggas like DMV, all that shit. But you right. a lot of times when it's right. when it's when it's bird, when it's bird niggas and the bird, I don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't see too many lot of bird niggas fucking with each other damn from the same hood. You don't see a lot of Richmond niggas fucking with each other damn from the same hood. Man, that shit just don't that the street shit. That shit just don't work like that, bro. Right. Man, that shit just don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 where the personal side of music really come into it. Because like I said, this shit is a life depiction of your personal life, man. So you know what I'm saying? A certain question that the fans might have never be answered. So if it don't be answered, you know what the fans they're going to do. They're going to formulate their own opinion. Then it's a whole bunch of bullshit. Oh, yeah, man. This man must be scared of this man. No, we, no man. You must be dead. No, and then so, I'm going to feel like they got a so point to play a big part. In, in Hell yeah, the fans do, bro. Hell yeah. Definitely. Now, when it comes to... I made a statement. I said, you know, 4 Nano, man, he got some of the hardest music, you know, to come out of Virginia right now. And you, an artist... We should be pushing up, and I, I wholeheartedly believe it. You know, so yeah. when it comes to Virginia music scene, man, do you feel like you slept on? Definitely, you know what I'm saying. Like, I feel like the who's who know. You know what I'm saying. The who's who know what the fuck going on, but you know what I'm saying. As far as like the citizens, let, let me say this. Let me say this. I ain't mean to cut you off neither, but. You know, a lot of people, they had their grievances with pain music and be like, I don't like pain music and I don't listen to it. But you got two sides and two sides. Yeah. Them don't be busting. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, do you feel like you slept on or is it not something you really pay attention to? And do you feel like Virginia should be, I mean, of course you're artists, but you feel like you somebody that we should be, you know, upholding because you make good music. Let's be honest. I, you know, I, I just feel like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, how this shit be sometimes, bro? Like, like I said, you know, even with the fans sometimes, like, personal shit and real life shit spill over into the music. So if a nigga got a nigga that they grew up with, that they end up, and they, you know what I'm saying, that's they, they, they gonna listen to that nigga music before they listen to your shit. Just like niggas that grew up with me, they gonna bump my shit before they bump them niggas shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's what create a problem, too. It's just, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just, but as far as, like, Virginia as a whole, I feel like the who's who, you know what I'm saying, the, the legends, they know what's up with me, you know what I'm saying, and they done giving me my flowers, and that mean a whole lot to me. That means just as much to me as the people that are telling me how, you know, my music help their everyday lives. Because in order for you to reach out to me, whether you're a regular person or whether you're in this field, you've been legendary at the land I'm trying to go in, in order for you to reach out to me, my music had to touch you, bro. So that means something to me. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, hell yeah, you know, without a doubt, it's more people that can be tuned in to what I'm doing. But how I feel, how I look at it, goddamn, if I ain't caught your eye yet, I just got to keep working. I don't, like, I just got to keep working if I ain't caught your eye. Because if I, if I can't catch your eye, I got to catch your ear. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like today's shit is so driven by, you know, what's in the attention span and what's in the eye. That you know what I'm saying, I gotta do that shit more. I gotta do, you know what I'm saying, more shit to catch people ass shit like that. That's something I was telling you about. But you know, part of the reason that my music is so descriptive as it is is because sometimes I might take a missing or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But goddamn like man, I I done realized that. So you know what I'm saying, going forward, I'm gonna be, you know, a lot more, you know, consistent with as far as catching people ass. 
So, you know, with that shit, that gonna help me capture, capture more bigger fan base because every time I drop, my father get bigger and bigger, bro. My father get bigger and bigger every time I, every time I drop a serious project, bro, like, not just bullshit around. Like, every time I'm, I'm serious, bro, like, my shit, like, I get a new fan. I, 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 I tell you this because one thing about it is I'm not like most artists. I pay attention to Airstream. I pay attention to my analytics. I pay attention to my numbers. If I go trending, how I go trending, who, like, all my, I pay attention to all that shit. Like, sometimes I'll be up at 3 in the morning looking at my streaming numbers like, oh, yeah, we went up. You know what I'm saying? We, I measure that shit because I got to know what's going on, bro. I can't I can't take no bad word for it. I got to know, okay, yeah, this song is doing better than this song. That means I got to keep doing this shit. I'm looking at these songs, seeing what songs better, what songs going up fa faster than these songs. And I'm like, yeah, this is what I got to stick to. This is what I got to do. This is what I got to not do. I got to be more consistent with the social media. Like, it's an air day grind, bro. And, you know, coming from, coming from, you know what I'm saying, really, like, running around, you know, doing street shit and shit, kind of, like, coming up from where you get that one song and then your friends look at you like, bro, what the fuck you doing on the block, bro? Well, you need to be in the studio, bro. Like, you could, like, it, it got to a point where I'd be on the block, bro. And out of five cars that ride back, three of them playing my music. Like, back to back to back. And niggas just looking at me staring like, but you just gonna stand here like, like the whole, like everybody ain't playing your shit out their car, bro. Like, you need to do something. You need to take this stuff. You know what I'm saying? It got to the point where, hey, bro, now, I really wait, got a wait, chance to do now, this how shit. That, how that, you know, how that make you, you look at things, though? You know, you got people over here telling you, yo, no, no, you need to be in the studio versus on the block. Cause I feel me personally, I feel like that's an issue. Not saying, you know, artists not supposed to make their money. I'm not sure you was making money or anything, but you know, when it comes to the rap, I don't think a lot of Virginia artists see the potential they have, you know. So you got people here telling you, like, bro, get off, you know, that's how the old old OGs used to do us. Like that's because I had people that really love you know, you make the studio. Get your you, ass know, you, you know, you got a lot of niggas that come up with niggas, but the problem is, bro. Niggas ain't come up around no real big dog. Like I said, bro, I came up around a real big dog, so I curved myself like one. So it's like when a nigga see me, a nigga's just like, man, you got everything, bro. You just got to, and you know, once it clicked in my mind, you know, all my homeboy telling me like, bro, I got you got the chance to really do this shit, bro, and people really fucking with you, and you still stand up here doing this bullshit, bro. Man, hell no, nah, bro. Like, it got to the point when, you know what I'm saying, my, my partner knew, like, bro, we'll pay for the shit. We'll pay for the shit ourselves, bro, if you go to the studio, bro. That when I started, like, I said, man, all right, fuck it, man, I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like, it ain't nothing I ain't want to do. I always like music and shit like that, but it was like I just had to lock in, bro. And ever since I've been locked in, bro, the past three years, bro, I ain't gave up. I've been real, you know what I'm saying? I've been consistent and shit, but it's just now. I gotta work. I gotta work every way, bro. I gotta, you know what I'm saying, stay in their eye. I gotta stay in their, you know what I'm saying, on their neck with that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't but a matter of time, because like you said, bro, like, you know what I'm saying, you being the type of, you know, multimedia platform that you are, if you aware of the shit, that means you helping more motherfuckers to see it every day, too. And I appreciate you, bro, every time you post a nigga music, everything you done ever did for a nigga as far as, you know, with me doing this shit, bro. I appreciate that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you done help more people. You know, you done directed more people to what I'm doing, bro. And they, you know, they don't fuck with me. And they'll tell me, like, yeah, I came from Glass TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll tell me that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I know in turn, bro, that shit make you feel good. Like, you know what I'm saying? You doing what you originally set out to do when you seen me. Like, I, I got to help people. I got to help this man for people to see him, bro. Your, your platform... It's, it's effective, bro. And I feel like that's another thing, bro. Artists, you know what I'm saying, they'll get, you know, motherfuckers to help them with marketing or blogs that post them or whatever. And, but they don't be, they don't be helping. Like, they don't be getting credit, bro. They don't be, they don't give a nigga, like, God damn, you can't even give a nigga a thank you, bro. Like, that's how I feel like. And I always been like that, you know what I'm saying? Cause when, when, if I do something for a nigga, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really want nothing back from it. Like, I done did a lot of stuff for niggas. I don't really want nothing back from it. And then as far as it going in my city, 
Like, I ain't like the rest of these niggas. I don't work with goddamn near air rapper in my city. They, you can ask. You can ask any rapper in the city, you got a song on them. So they're going to be like, yeah, hell yeah, I got a song on them. Because when, when, I, when, I when I came when I came in this shit and I said I was going to take rapping serious, I said, I'm going to work with every nigga in the city. I don't give a fuck where you from. You know what I'm saying? But as as this this when I was a little younger, so as we grow older, you know, tensions get high, shit, and you can't do that shit like you used to do it. But the fact is, that's how I started out, and that's what helped me. Because every nigga from earlier, man, where the fuck he from? Oh, he from over there. Oh, that boy hard, though, man. Shit, y'all need to do some more shit. Y'all need to, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how that shit started, bro. Yeah. 